everybody rise and shine it's half past nine how are we all doing today i hope you had a great weekend nice to see some sunshine back again and a beautiful morning today now um normally this weekend would have been a bit of a big event in uh london because we would have been celebrating the queen's birthday um not her actual birthday because that was in april but it's uh, it's the one that we use just to have a nice celebration in the nice weather. Uh, but we had to keep it a bit low key this year. But nevertheless, we should say happy birthday to the Queen. I love the Queen. And also it was Prince Philip's birthday just a few days before that. And he was 99. Amazing. So I thought in honour of the Queen's birthday, let's make our very own royal crown this morning. Now, I'm all set up here like a Blue Peter studio and let's see how we go. So for this you will need um, some card. You need three pieces of card ideally or just like thick paper. Um, now I've gone for some yellow card to, because that's sort of a nice crown colour but you can just paint it anyway so if you've only got white to go with that's fine. Uh, I've also got some dark colour to go matches my hair but again you can use any colour. So to start with you want to take your um, yellow bit of card here. Ooh, my cat has sat on mine. Okay so you've got your yellow bit of card and fold it in half, fold it in half again and then cut out those strips. So I've been prepared and I've cut most of mine out so if you do that with both of your pieces of paper, fold it in half, fold it in half again, how many strips of paper are we going to end up with? Or card? Eight. So don't even need a ruler for this, it's easy. Fold it in half, fold it in half again, and you'll have eight bits of paper like this. Now, Holly is going to be my uh, crown model for this. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to measure it up so that it Bits. I'm going to take one end uh, and I think just for ease of time I'm going to staple, but you could maybe sellotape, maybe you like that one. So, just measure up. yeah, that's a perfect fit actually there. If we just staple this end as well. And yeah, all right, a little bit small, okay. Then, take two black strips of paper, so just as you did along the edges. And these are going to be our sort of uh, support support strut. So I need Holly back again just to measure this onto her head. So actually that can go yeah, a bit closer like that. Okay, so I'm going to take mine all the way to the bottom like this. And again, I'm just going to fix it in. I think I use a bit of tape this time. So just taking that in like that, nice, Ooh, all my papers stuck to the table, right, take that one in, and so bend it over, straight over, Ooh, noisy dogs on that side, going to put that in there, and this one in here, and then take your other piece, and bend it over. Now at this point, what we're going to want is to get a hole in the top. So I've already made a hole, if you can see, just, uh, you can see that, just at the top of mine, using a pencil. Now you might be able to use a hole punch if you've got a long, thinny one, but I didn't. So I'm going to also put a hole in the middle of this one with my pencil, just like, just push it through like that. Nice hole and line it up with the hole I'd already put on there. Nice. Okay, some more bits of tape. Thank you, Holly. Okay, keep that nice and secure. Remember this one. I might just use the uh, staple that went for this one. Lovely. Right, our crown is coming together. Now we want to take our yellow. Bits. But before we do, we want to cut just the edge to round them off. So I'm just going to do that like this. Round it off like that. And 
take my hole punch and punch a hole in the end. And now, here comes the tricky bit, and I line these up. So I'm get, I've got, I mean, I've got six, haven't I? So I'll plop these in, see if I can get them to line up. No, I might have to move the tape of the other bit I did. That's okay. Oh, okay. What am I going to do with these ones? Huh. I'm going to glue them on the inside at, yes, at two o'clock. Imagine I'm doing it at 12 o'clock, two o'clock, four o'clock. All right, let's do that. I'm going to staple mine in again just for ease. So that's one there, one at about, uh, what did we say, two o'clock. That's going to come over there. Ooh. One at the four o'clock on my imaginary clock. That's going to go in there. One at eight o'clock. Oh, hang on. Did I lose one? No, two, four o'clock. Eight o'clock went here. We'll do this one down here. Oh, no, I'm only doing... No, I'm doing six. Twelve, two, four, six. Got to do one at six o'clock. There we go. You can tell I'm having a little bit of a cheat here. Reading my instructions as I go. Right, eight o'clock, boom. And ten o'clock, boom. We're going full on Blue Peter this morning, aren't we? Right, okay. Lovely. Bend those over. Now, a little bit of, if you want to, red crepe paper. Not crepe paper, what is this? Tissue paper. Who's crepe paper? Any sort of something red just to make my brown look really nice. I'm just going to cut it into that sort of shape that my black crown forms. And I'm going to use a bit of glue. So I cut this sort of shape and it's going to sit around my black bits there. So quick bit of glue. Actually, I'm going to glue my black bits because that's probably easier. Stick. Lovely jubbly. So does anyone know how old the queen is? There is a question. Stick back in there. Am I right in thinking she is is she 94? I think she might be 94. Very impressive. Right, okay, crown is coming together nicely. Whoop, i that a little bit so you can see it. Right, put my red bits in there. Lovely, lovely. And then these bits are going to... Oh, I'm also now going to make a little crown topper. Yes, here we go. So I'm cutting out uh, across because they often go on the top and I've actually done two identical pieces. So I'm going to glue those together, but at the bottom, I'm just going to leave it unstuck so that you'll see what I'm doing here. Just stick them together, but just not at the bottom. And then just turn up the edges like Yes, there we go. Right. Now, why are we talking about the Queen? Well, I want you to imagine... Oh, hang on. Punch a hole in one of them. Punch a hole in that bottom bit. Oh, that's not my hole punch. That's my stapler. Punch a hole. And then you've got to get one of these split pins, which I had. You've got a split pin like that and put that in to there. Right. Now, I'm going to connect that into my things like this. What are these? The little yellowy bits. Collect them all together into my split pin. Oh, which is already split. That's not split it yet. Yes, coming together nicely. Okay. On top. And then, do you remember I put a hole in the black bit? So that's going to go all the way down to the black bit. If I can find that hole. Whoop. 
so I'm crafty. You know you want to do it. You know you want to do it. All my little red bits are poking out. Oh, oh no, split pin spitting. All right, hang on. Got to make a better hole than that. So, have you ever thought about what it would be like to meet the Queen if she invited you to one of her garden parties? Well, I know I would be super duper excited. Love the Queen. And I know if I was invited to the palace, I would get out my best dress and uh, probably practice my walk, practice my handshake. Be a little bit nervous, maybe, but very excited because love the Queen. And I'd love to go to Buckingham Palace and meet her. Maybe she'd be wearing her crown. Well, Jesus said that once there was a king who was holding a big feast. So not a king, we'll just imagine it's the queen. And she's holding a big banquet at Buckingham Palace. And she tells her um, servants to go and invite all these people on the guest list, all the the great and the good. Imagine you've got that invite through from the palace. Super, super exciting. But then imagine some people turn down the invitation. Uh, they like the queen, but they said, sorry, uh, washing my hair that day. Um, oh, sorry, just got married, uh, a bit busy. Uh, someone else says, oh, hang on, I've just bought a new house can't do it this week your majesty and imagine the queen would be a little bit put out she's not used to having people turn her down um, and so instead of all those people on her guest list she then says to her servants well just go and turn the streets of london and invite the people in invite the people in off the streets those who are maybe in the hospitals who are ill, uh, those people who are just living on the street, invite them all into the party. And they do, and these people come, they don't have excuses. And then they said, oh, well, actually, we've still got more room, more cake left over. Could invite a few more people to the garden party. Go on, scour the streets, spread out from London, just go everywhere, all around the United Kingdom, and let's invite them in. And that is what Jesus is saying to us. We are invited to a fantastic royal banquet where the queen might be wearing her crown that we've just made. Oh, yes. I think I made my cross a bit too big. But there are some people who want to turn down that invitation. But the invitation is there for everyone. And that is like Jesus saying, well, God is like our royal king. And he wants to invite us into that banquet, to that feast with him. Some people might turn down the invitation. But if you want to go, you are very welcome. And not only that, you know, when I was younger, I always thought, oh, I'd quite like to be a princess. You know, Prince William, he's not that different in age to me. Maybe I could marry him. Well, you know, what? I didn't even have to, uh, to think about marrying Prince William to be considered royal because Jesus says, says in the Bible that we are part of a royal priesthood. We are like royal blood by being part of God's family. So if you want to be part of God's family, you can be a special chosen one who's as important as a royal. So I hope you have fun making your crowns. I think this wasn't a bad effort. I reckon you could probably do slightly better. See if you can improve that bit on the top. I think I made mine a bit, a bit big and heavy. But there we go, right, okay. I'm off to my royal party and I will see you tomorrow. Stay safe.